presented by EA Sports. Today we hit double digits week 10 and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard. going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First play wants to pass it. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Well, this defense for the Eagles, they were fantastic a week ago and that went over Houston. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get per game? And how about last week's game? That number, six. Absolutely phenomenal performance. They were on top of their game right from the first snap. Right, 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 right. Hey, Ray, 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 Ray. Baylor Tiger. Baylor Tiger. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. I don't think this is the script they had a need for their opening drive. This is third and long. now and that is incomplete oh he had it right there with him to force that to the ground and fourth down now coming up here comes the Lions punter now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Right, so go. from the 36 now, first and 10. And a loose football. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. ground. This is Devon Achan. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown Philadelphia. Devon Achan. His eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. So that a very nice looking touchdown run. And on his first carry of the game as well. And you remember Brandon, we talked to him yesterday. And he thought he was going to have a big game. He thought he did perfectly. He liked what the defense was presenting, and he really liked what he was getting from his blockers. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. 
four and four their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately to me, four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play. Not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. It's going to move him around a bit. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. Here's a second and eight. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring us to a third and four. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Lawrence to throw. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Eagles have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out by the open week last week, and in talking with him, all indications were, Charles, that that was a very helpful break. Yeah, I know a lot of teams, coaches, they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it. But occasionally, you get that open week, you step back, evaluate what's been going wrong, see what you can put in that can move you forward, and maybe you get a chance to breathe a little bit and kind of start over. From the 50, here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Back to the air, Herbert on second down. Open man right side to St. Brown. Now he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Just beat the play clock. Oh, and he 
his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Charles, it is pretty rare that we see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. And, man, they seem to be clicking on all three phases right there. The defense doing its part with a pick six. And it's absolutely been the definition of a start that you would pick for yourself and for your team, right? And I have a feeling that they just want to stay in this zone. What's truly incredible about this start is they can add on a couple more scores. This one could legitimately be over in the second quarter. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession. Oh, and Herbert, his third interception. Keely Ringo picks it off. Inside the 20. A nightmare of the first half for him. And that's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yards that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. 21-0 our score after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. Hey, Ryan! They'll come out in the pistol. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Touchdown. Trevor Lawrence, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Eagles are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Point after point down the middle. And a round is on here in this first half. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Gibbs will try and pick it up. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Now, A-Chan on first and ten. 
And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Greedy Williams on the stop. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Right back to A-chain on second down. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 50 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. They'll run. A-chan. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. A-chan here. They stay on the ground. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So on now the field goal team for Philadelphia. This a 27-yard attempt here. And this one is right through. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal here. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Eagles are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Big 13 heavy. Silver. On first down, Lawrence. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Albert Okuwebunam, 58 yards. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. And you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here, but with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there, but they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive 
and see if they can get some points out of it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Hey, Kappa, 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 Kappa. He's right. Go, go, go. The final shot before the break for Herbert. To the sideline and incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. A very interesting call and one that back. Six months, she